Hello YouTube! Today for Nerd Makeup we are going to do a Storm from X-Men inspired makeup. Now, you may not be able to see it very well, but there are little, little lightning bolts coming out everywhere. And I will teach you how to, oh, how to do that. But first, we're going to start with a, my new favorite part of my videos, which is a little bit of background on the character Storm from X-Men. Now, Storm, also known as Oro Mo Aurora Monroe, there we go, um, she was, her first appearance ever was in Giant X-Men's number one, which was in May of 75, I believe. Um, since then, she was... She was the former queen of Wakanda, and ah, that was a title that was given to her f by marrying um, King Takala, also known as the Black Panther. And um, out of all of the X-Men characters, she's the one that actually appeared in the most comics. Um, she was the most well-known character, and she went by very many names like Wind Rider, Storm, Weather Witch, Mistress of the Elements, and Queen of Wakanda. Um, she also participated in a lot of um, a lot of teams like the Avengers, X Men, the Fantastic Four, the Lady Liberators, the Morlocks, and the Hellfire Club. All around, she's just an awesome character, and a lot of my friends on Facebook um, actually helped me come up with the idea today for doing Storm, so if you are one of my Facebook friends and you are subscribed to me, well done, bravo, and thank you for the idea. Um, and so this is going to be the start of my video. Let's get started. Okay, so once we got our foundation on and our primer and everything... We're going to start off with a yellow. Now, I'm doing... Ah! One of my eyeshadows just broke and so it's flying everywhere. But I'm doing a yellow from my Mark Wins palette. And that's what we'll start off with. And you want to make sure that you get it, the yellow as thick as you can if it's not very bright. Like mine's not very bright so I got it like as thick as humanly possible. But what we're going to do is we're going to cover the entire eye. There we go. Like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take a gold, which is this color right here. Now. I know that the yellow may seem a little weird because you don't think of yellow when you think of Storm, but the original comic character Storm actually wore a black and yellow uniform. And so that's where my yellow is coming from, is the original comic book character, not the cheesy ass Halle Berry, I think I'm awesome with my dyke haircut, no. So, that is that. And... We're going to go right in the crease with our gold. Doesn't really show up much against the yellow, but that's okay because it looks pretty in the end. So then once we got our yellow and our gold, we're going to take a black right here. If there's two colors I use constantly in every one of my tutorials, it is black and white. And that's because they look awesome together and they shade nicely and it's just really pretty. So we're going to take our black and we're going to go in the corner like we usually do. Our little weird mini V. We're going to go out a little bit too towards the eyebrow, towards the end of the eyebrow. Like that. Do, 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 do. There we go. And kind of blend in the yellow and the black where they meet. Ah. And then we're going to take a white. And I've had this white for like ever. It's a Caboodles white. That's just the lid so you can see. It's called Caboodles. 
It was in a weird, like, Easter package, and it was a dollar, and I didn't have a white at the time, so I, I got it. It's a really, really fine powder. It sticks to your brush, like, really well, which is good for this one because we're really going to cake on the white, and that's really going to go right there under your eyebrow. Or if you're me, it's going to go in your eyebrow. Because that's how I roll. So, I'm going to do that right on the top. Just like that. And that is the eyeshadow part of it. Then, what we're going to do is the fun part. We're going to take our yellow that we used on our eye. And we are going to go outside of the um, black and white. We're just going to kind of brush it out. Nothing to where it's too noticeable. It won't be very noticeable till you um, get the silver eyeliner going. But you put it under your eye and outside as well. Like that. Then we're going to take our steel or our silver. This one says made of steel. It's kind of weird. But it's Maybelline New York's Master Drama. I've used it a couple times in my videos. And this is the fun part. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in the corner of our eye. And we're going to make a line. Like that. And it's not going to be very dark, you got, got to kind of go over it a couple times, especially if it's a silver and you're really wanting it to stand out. Unless you got a really good silver, which in case you do have a really good silver, message or comment below, let me know what a good silver is. But this one works so far. So once we got our straight line going out, we're going to make an L with another line, like that. And then we're going to shoot out another line at a nice, like, 30 degree angle. And so it's all attached like that. And then we're going to do another one. Same way, just pointing down instead of out. Like that. Very simple. And then I thought it would be funky to add another one going down the eye. And so that's when you dart, put it a little bit on your tear duct. Like that. And then from your tear duct is where you're going to make your first line. Out towards the brim of your nose. Bridge of your nose, not brim. You know what I meant. Don't judge me. And then you're going to go... With another little line, make a little L. Another little one. And down like that, so then you got a funky little lightning bolt going out of your tear duct as well. Now you can do like I did, and do another little line going from the tear duct out. I think it makes it look... It blends the silver in a little bit more with the rest of it. Not too much, just a little bit right out towards the crease. And then, of course, you top it off with a black. And then, in, just in case um, the yellow isn't showing up very much, just go around the, um, the silver lines with your yellow a little bit more. It helps the silver really stand out, especially if you're very pale like I am. It makes it stand out really good. Top it off with a with a pink blush
and then once you get your blush on, got that really thick. Then once you get your blush on, I thought it would be funky to do a turn that so you can see it better. A yellow lip to go with it. And if you don't have yellow lipstick, pretty much what I did is I took the yellow that I used on the eyes, the eyeshadow, and I took a lip gloss or a chapstick. Um, this, it looks red, but it goes on like a really clear, but any lip gloss or chapstick and you put that on and then you take the color of eyeshadow that you wanted to use. I used the yellow that I used for my eyes. And you just dab it on there till you get the shade that you want. The yellow looks really good with the um with the storm look. And that is that. I hope you enjoyed and bye.